Okay guys, back again, it's the Snag and Breakdown, episode 5, and today we're going to see some absolute shockers, you're not going to believe it, it's ridiculous. So yeah, the Snag and Breakdown, let's go. Hey guys, back again, so this developer's gone for the apocalypse. <laughs> oh my god, so they need to patch that wall and fit that pipe guide correctly, that is ridiculous. Let's finish, look at uh, this. This internal wall is 19 millimeters out of plumb. What they need to do with this wall is they would maybe put a sheet of plasterboard at the top and plaster it and feather it in just to make that wall straight. So basically bring the top of that wall out. Tolerance is eight millimeters. Here we can see the wood butcher is back again, attacking another door line in. So basically we need a professional repair and to, you know, fill all these gaps or replace the door lining um, if they're, they've got any decency. Look at the state on that. Who's the absolute tuna melt that thought they did a good finish behind this toilet? Absolute tuna melt. So basically behind this toilet, they just need to patch it and uh, make it look good. Thought they did a good finish behind this toilet. Guess what we found? More fake weep vents. It's absolutely shocking. So to fix weep vents, um, you would dig out the whole mortar perp all the way back to the cavity tray, fit a full uh, vent and repoint where necessary and jobs are good. Why didn't they just do that in the first place? Who knows, it's because they're really lazy and they're uh, absolute tuna melts. Weep vent is absolutely shocking. This toilet is leaking. We've got hinge. This toilet, they just need to investigate where it's leaking from and fix the issue, obviously. Quite self-explanatory. It's leaking. We've got hinge blocks missing to the door hinges. So it's just um, a hinge block. It comes with the door. They've probably just lost it. They just need to install it. Jobs are good. Un. How would you like your door frame, sir? I'd like it cracked. Please. So this will either need a professional repair by a magic man or they'll have to replace the whole frame, which is going to be a nightmare. But um, depends on how serious it is, really. Please. Here we have some more walls with the apocalypse finish. That just needs patching and painting. Look at the state of the installation of this front door. Jesus. All the hinges are embedded in the wall. I mean, that is ridiculous. It's that is ridiculous. So that... They've obviously made the opening too small and the door frame doesn't fit properly in the opening. You shouldn't have the hinges embedded in the wall. There should ideally be a, a 15 mil gap between the hinge and the wall. So um, that is shocking. Shocking. This pedestal is chipped. Would you like some ketchup with that? So what they'd do with the pedestal is they would repair that chip um, or replace the whole pedestal. With that. And how would you like your garden to be, sir? I don't know. I'd like the Grand Canyon look, please. So they're going to have to go back to the developer and see what the um, the plans for the garden were. Because surely the plan wasn't to have the Grand Canyon in your back garden. That is ridiculous. I mean, what in the Winkle Spanner is going on here? That is ridiculous. Hey guys, back again and the Winkle Spanners are at it again. This toilet basin is complete. They need to replace the whole toilet, obviously. Completely cracked. This loft light, guess how you can turn it on? By wiggling this cable, of course. I mean, that is definitely absolutely possibly shocking. That was absolutely possibly shocking. Um, we need an electrician in that loft straight away and fix that wire, because that is possibly absolutely shocking. The brickwork finish of this property was extremely poor. The pointing was horrific. We so any pointing issues, it just needs to be repointed. Got mortar missing everywhere. The brickwork's covered in excess mortar. Look at that. We've got weep fence not pointed in properly, so they just slide out. What's this about? We've got 20 mil deviation to this brickwork. Look at that. It's massively over tolerance. So how do you fix this wall? Well, quite simple. See that brickwork? You knock it down. And that's about it. Brickwork, look at that. It's massively over tolerance. Can someone tell me why we're burying the air bricks like it's treasure? Ideally, we should have a 75 mil clear gap underneath. Are you... So what they're going to have to do here is they're going to have to lower the uh, the ground level, basically, to below the air bricks. Trying to be builders or pirates? And how would you like your oven, sir? I like it to <coughs> fall out when I open the door. Shocking. So that, that oven just needs securing, obviously. And yes, yet again, we found more fake weep vents. Up. So the fake weep vents, I explained in my last video how to fix them. Property. Look at this, it's ridiculous. I hope the Winkle Spanners aren't happy with this finish to the skirting. Please sort it out, you absolute tuna melt. So this skirting, it just needs uh, reinstalling, closing up that gap to the joint and painting. You absolute tuna melt. This window frame is damaged. Look at this. So you'd either get a, um, a magic man to come out and repair the window frame or replace it, either or. 
I bet you're happy with that, are you? Hey guys, back again. Starting off, the protection hasn't been fully removed from this banjo panel. We so you need to remove this protection because uh, what will happen is it'll sweat behind the protection and start to cause um, moisture and mold build up, which is not good. Got a little bit of damage and the lifting straps haven't been removed. The bracing is covered in mold. What are you trying to do? Grow mushrooms? The they are growing mushrooms. Um, so they just need to clean off the mold, treat it wherever needed, and jobs are good. What are you trying to do? Grow mushrooms? The wood butcher is yet again back again uh, with another damaged door. Great job. This door needs to be replaced. It's um, too far gone. This needs to be replaced. So we've got 8 mil deviation to this wall. In normal terms, it's a little bit of a banana. So what you do with this wall is we would plaster the wall um, to bring that bump out, basically. Uh, well, not bump, to bring that dip out. Um, quite a simple fix. Banana, and the tolerance is 3 millimeters. These wall units have been installed 17 millimeters Jesus. off level of each other. Look at this. So these wall units just need to be reinstalled, uh, nice and level, and why weren't they in the beginning, and how did the site manager not spot this? Because they were so far out, you could clearly see it. It's shocking how it just just gets passed. Look how far this wall unit is. Look at it! It's absolutely shocking. Look at that. How far out? He must have forgot his glasses that day. How do we think this gate post is going to be? Well, it's 26 millimeters. That's like one plum or two small grapes. This so that gate post just needs to be reinstalled. This absolute shocker was sent in by one of our inspectors. Oh my God. Look at the horrific find in this loft. Look how badly Jesus. that truss is damaged. How Look at that. Look how snapped that truss is. How was that handed over? Site manager, sort your act out. That is ridiculous. So to, to fix this, they're going to have to um, contact like a structural engineer or the, uh, the manufacturers and ask um, how can we repair it, basically. And they'll probably send out like a piece of truss um, that will get bolted to the side of it. That is shocking how that's been handed over in that state. And people say, oh, there's no point getting a snagging inspector in. Are you serious? Look at the stuff we find. How was that signed off? Check out this massive gap under the front door threshold. What's this for? So you can post letters easier? We well, we shouldn't have that massive gap anyway. But if we are going to have a little bit of a gap, it needs to be sealed. We've got a sneaky crack to this glazing panel. That's simple. The glazing panel needs to be replaced. Okay, guys, well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did find that informative, please hit the like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe. And until next time, that's been the Snagging Breakdown. I'll see you later. Peace.